My style of dancing has to do with a lot of different uh, levels or different moves from different uh, styles of dance or hip hop or street dance. I learned by myself. Um, I watch people on YouTube, you know, and I watch their style and I watch their moves and I don't necessarily take their moves, but I try to take their mindset of like how they came up with certain moves or their creativity to their style. I think, what are they thinking about when they like do these moves or their their creativity is something different that I haven't seen before in a street dancer. So I pretty much take all of that and I put it into one, which is myself. What I love about dancing is the fact that I can communicate to people without having to talk. If I want to say something, I'd rather say it through movement. At the same time, I feel like there's no way to stand still when I do hear music or hear a beat. So in a way, it's just in me and I feel like it's something I can't control. So it's more so of an instinct than a choice. Whoo! When you get on that stage, oh man, the pressure shoots up and it's just like now, this is my time. Like it's either do or die right now. And really your fight or flight instincts take over. You just have to, you have to roll with it. It takes a lot of energy and willpower as far as mental energy and willpower. I feel like a lot of it is in your, in your head. So you have to really be prepared mentally to accept whatever happens, happens, and you have to give it your all 100%. My style of dance is hip hop musicality, and I chose that style because I feel like um, when I tell people it's just hip hop, uh, they kind of get the wrong idea of what I mean by it. So by adding the musicality, they know, okay, well, he's probably hitting a lot of beats and music and whatnot. And um, it's actually sometimes even different from that. Like when I actually dance, people don't can't tell what my style is. It's so versatile and there's so much in it that um, it's just easier to portray it as hip-hop musicality, or to say it's hip-hop musicality. Oh my goodness, to be in the top 20 means everything to me. I feel like I've accomplished something, whatever that is, not even just being in the top 20, but uh, as a dancer going this far out of everyone who auditioned and unfortunately didn't make it, uh, I made it this far. So this, this means a lot to me as far as that, and also to everyone, to a lot of people who didn't think that uh, you know, I could go this far in dancing or that, you know, dancing is just a hobby. You can't really do anything out of it. Like, I feel like I'm proving them wrong by being in the top 20. What happened was I originally was going to audition for something else. And then uh, I missed the audition date. So instead of auditioning for that, uh, I was like, you know what? Well, why don't I go audition for City Can Dance with a, a buddy of mine? And so we're like, you know, let's just see what we can do. You know what I'm saying? How far we can get in this competition. Uh, just to, we were just on there for the ride. Uh, so we went, audition, and I ended up making it uh, this far. Unfortunately, my friend didn't, but um, I feel like I'm carrying both of us uh, in a way uh, because he didn't. So um, yeah, we decided. I decided to do that, and I'm I'm here now. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't have auditioned uh, for this. It was something that I just kind of started doing. Uh, just to see how far I could go in the competition. And until I auditioned, that's when I first started looking up previous seasons of So You Think You Can Dance, because I'm like, okay, I know what I'm getting myself into. I'm just doing this and not really knowing what's going on, so. Um, my most memorable moment has probably definitely been uh, the Vegas week. Uh, it's in all of its, of its entirety, simply because we had to go through so much and it pushed me uh, through tons of emotions and struggle and physical, uh, wear outs. It was just, it was crazy. And I didn't think that I was going to, you know, make it through a couple of times, but I stayed positive and I, you know, I did make it through. So I just felt like as long as I, you know, kept a cool head, kept my confidence up, um, that I could do it. And I did. So that was definitely the most memorable. What helps me prepare, uh, before any performance is I kind of psych myself out, uh, to let myself get nervous. And then what I do, I let the nerves, uh, push me and drive me and take over my body so that um, everything I do is, you know, 100% uh, better than uh, what it would be if I was calm. Because I feel like it's cool to be calm, but I do my best work when I'm nervous or under the pressure or excited. Um, so if I am under the pressure, I just use those nerves to get excited uh, for my performance. <laughs> um, I got the name Fiction uh, when I was uh, in ninth grade, so freshman year. And I'd already been dancing and, you know, I was, I guess, good for my age. And I met a dancer who was also really good at what he does. And he saw me dance and he gave me a compliment that a lot of people have, you know, given me. He said that, oh, when you move and you dance, uh, 
your movements look like, your body looks like it's not attached, or like your moves look unreal. Like, and I was like, oh, okay, thank you. I've gotten that a lot. He's like, you really need a dance name. I was like, yeah, I feel like I do need a dance name. Like, what should it be? I really want one. And he's like, well, it has to be something that fits you, uh, something that when you dance, like, it's already there. So I'm like, okay, something that fits my style. He's like, yeah. And he was like, what about fiction? I was like, fiction? I had to say it a couple times, like, fiction, fiction, fiction. Like, do I really want people to call me that? And then I thought about it, like, you know what? That would be pretty cool. You know, I've gotten all these comments that when I move, it's unreal. So might as well stick to it.